Hello, right, thank you for joining me on Diane's Delicious Dishes. I am doing stuffed leg of pork with obviously stuffing with Paxo. I've got two nice butcher's sausages, some salt and pepper, and I'm going to do it in my Ninja XL grill. So, first of all, we need to remove this. Because you're going to take all the covers off and take the skin off because I'm not going to cook it in the skin. I'm actually going to butterfly it. I don't need to, but I don't know yet. You see, here we go. This is how I like to cook. I don't follow much recipes, I never have done. So, first of all, we're going to. No, I don't need to butterfly it. I'm just going to remove some of this fat and take the skin off. So first of all, that comes off. And I'm going to just score along where you see the fat. So, rather than attack you just peel it off and that's all you do but make sure you've got a very sharp knife because you don't want any of that meat on that on that skin so you need to pull it away as you're pulling you see where the meat is and you literally just cut that fat off and that skin right so if you can I'll just turn that around Tesco they tend to do it already for you so all this skin here has already got been scored so I'm literally just taking all the fat and all the skin because I don't want the fat left on that skin because that's your crackling so you just take it off and peel that way then, see? can you tell I'm married to a butcher? I'm literally just taking all that skin off because all that will go in separate. Now I'm not going to do anything with that. That's your crackling. I'm just going to put salt on and crackle all that up. So, just pull my sleeves back. There's your meat. So I'm just going to open that up slightly, get all that gristle out, because it's a leg, it's a thigh. So you know how your thighs are chunky? That's how these are. So I'm just going to whip that little bit of fat off, because we don't want to eat that, do we? Down it. Just take that little bit off. So there, that's all ready. Right, because you ain't going to be able to get rid of this little bit here. You, you can just a little bit, but I don't. I don't want to waste that meat. Right, so just taking that little bit. All them little bits that you can get without it affecting the actual meat. That's what you take off. Because I'm going to put the stuffing in the centre and we're going to skewer it. Right, so I'm just 
take all that off like that there we go that's all that fat removed all the nasties so you've got all that lovely lovely pink flesh right so now there's my pork done now I'm going to get these sausages, these have been in the freezer, so I'm just going to take the skin off because I was very clever and I forgot to get sausage meat. So, just get my sausages into there. I'll bring these across so you can see. I'm just going to. Open that up. That goes straight in. Like that. Right. That goes all into there. That goes into the rubbish bin. So here you've got your sausages, and you're going to mash all that in because that adds a bit of flavour to your stuffing so just mash it all together make sure all that sausage meat is mixed in incorporated so it's all lovely now I'm going to start getting the meat getting my grill on so I'm going to just turn this around I'll just wash my hands. So, if I leave my tea towel there, I'm going to turn it to there. Just so we can see. So I'm going to turn it so you can see it. This is the Ninja XL grill. Now I'm going to just, on the top, I'm going to press start and we're going to get, just plug in the probe. This is a built-in feature and they automatically come with it. So we're going to just plug that in. We're not going to sit out there. Right, so we're going to do that. So that probe's already done. So we're going to do preset. It's there. We want air fry, preset. And it's not chicken, it's not beef, it's pork. And we want... Well done. Sorry. And we take it along to well done because I prefer mine well done. And we're going to just press start to get it up to temperature. So while that's doing, I'm just turning it around. Right, so you'll have to bear with me while I do this. This is the first time I've done one, so I'm just going to mix that up again. Do you want that sausage mix? mix through now we're going to make this all this stuffing into a pocket into the meat right so there's your perfect you can see that there that's where it's going to go i'm just going to make a pocket in that sinew there that's broke it down right so i'm just going to do that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rub. I'm going to actually smack it down a bit with a rolling pin, and then I'm going to roll it.
bit of King film. already got add food but you just can leave it until we get it. So that's just butterfly it out a little bit. Right so now we're gonna put that stuff in there. to do that's all we're doing wrap my wrap my hands up got skewers and that's what we're going to use to seal it. So I'm just going to turn it around. That's your end bit. Right. So. Look. That's what you want. So that will fit straight in. and we're going to just stab it up straight in see this holds it all together and it makes it actually makes um, I, this is one of my favourite dishes and because you've smacked it down a bit So all that stuff in there will crisp up, but we're going to turn it the other way. So first of all, we're going to salt and pepper both sides. That's small enough to fit in. And then just salt it on the bottom. Bit of pepper. We'll turn it over like that, you see. We could do a bit more salt, a bit of pepper. It's like a sandwich, and then you just carve it. So now, I haven't used all the stuff in bad way. I'll you, I'll put that second. I'm just going to move the camera so you can see it going in. for you. Now we've got your probe and you want to stick that in into the centre like that see there's your probe right in the centre when that hits the temperature you know it's cooked. Whoop. 
So I'm going to just do that upside down. Right. I'm just going to do that. It tells you automatically how long to cook that. And um, the target temperature is 75. At the moment, it's 25, 26. So, oh, I'm what I've done. so that's how you do this pork. Now, when I turn this over, that's when I'm going to put this piece of crackling in. So I'm going to prepare it first. And all I'm going to do is just pat it dry. And then rub some salt in. There you go. Thank you for watching. I will. Ca I, I'm working out how to do this. It's the first time I've done a film, so I'm going to see if I can stop the film now and we carry on. If not, I will just add a photo of it cooked. But thank you very much for watching. Right, we're halfway through now. We've gone to. Uh, 40 degrees, I'm going to move this around so we can just see what we're doing. Right, here we go. We can turn this around slowly so you can see. Let's put it over. So as you can see it's up to 41 degrees now. So I'm just going to lift that and look at how beautiful that looks. And turn it over. so moist so I've been thinking right so I'm going to put all this stuff in there right. get in so you can see what we're going to do now can't you Push that down. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. Because what happens is all the fat runs over. So I'm going to cover. All that stuffing with the skin. So you're crackling. The fat off the crackling goes into the stuffing and makes it really <laughs> so there we go I will carry on well I will edit it so you can carry on for seeing when it gets to 75 I'll leave it to rest but I'm having this with chips and green beans but I will take a photograph and put it in the comments. I think I can do that. So there, there you go. Thank you very much for watching.